In this lesson, we are going to learn about reading chemical formulas of ions. Now, what are chemical formulas? Chemical formulas are basically a way for scientists to use letters and numbers to represent a substance. For instance, water is H2O. See how the letter H represents hydrogen and the letter O represents oxygen. And the number 2 is a number that represents there are two atoms of hydrogen. And when there's no number, we assume it's going to be 1, so therefore it's 1 atom of oxygen in H2O. Now in the chemical form of, of ions, there are two common numbers that you need to understand. The first one is called a superscript. A superscript, think of the word Superman, right? Superman always flying high. You can think of this number as the number that's flying above the element symbol. Here I have a generic element symbol X, and here I have the subscript flying above up there. Now that number up there, or superscript, indicate the charge of an ion and we talk about that later so what does it mean a charge of an ion remember ions are basically an atom that has gained a lost electron to be stable so in this case i can give you a quick example here we have barium right when barium lose two electron it become barium two plus so we have the superscript right there that represents the charge of barium or we can say the other way around where oxygen has gained two electrons to be stable and oxygen is going to have two minus notice how the two are not written right here but it's written on top or above the chemical symbols that's why we call it a superscript another number that we have to be familiar with is called a subscript now think of the subway the subway go under the ground Right? In this case, it's go under the element symbol. And this number indicates the number of atoms of a specific element. So what does that mean? If I have O2, remember O2 right there? Right? This is oxygen gas, it's not an ion. But that 2 right there, that's telling you that there are two of oxygen atoms in oxygen gas. Or we can go back to H2O, see that 2 right there? I tell you there are two of the hydrogen atoms. So it tell you the number of atoms of a specific element. This two does not apply to oxygen, it's only applied to the element symbol that's going in front of the number. The subscript is applied to the element that's in front of it, not behind it, okay? So the two is going toward the H, not the O. This is wrong. Sometimes when we have polyatomic ions, we have to group them in parentheses because polyatomic ions is a group of atoms that combine together but they function as a unit. And we're going to show you some example. Let's look at this one right here. What are the superscript? This would be the charges on here. Okay, so that is your charges right there. And this subscript right there tell you that this polyatomic ions has one sulfur because there's no subscript there but it has four oxygen atoms okay so that's what it means four oxygen and two minus and then if we look over here we look at a modem right here NH4 plus that four tell you there are four of the hydrogen but the overall charge of this whole entire polyatomic ion is just one plus and in this case, we have oxygen ions. It's called oxide, remember? We drop the ending. So oxygen is like this. And we drop the ending, and we add IDE. So if you remember how to name negative ions, please watch the video below right here. Click on the link. So the name for this is would be oxide, OK? So in this case, there's no subscript. We know it's going to be just one. But the charge overall is 2 minus. Then we have calcium. A lot of students get tricked by CA. Notice how this is capitalized and this is lowercase. When that happened, you have to realize this is just one element. Okay? If you have CA and this is one element, this is another element. But in this case, the A is a lowercase. That means it is a single element. Just like we have BA aluminum al 
So you have to realize those are one single element. In this case, calcium has a charge of two plus. So how are we gonna apply this to our homework when you type the answer online? So first of all, we're just gonna type normally because we cannot use subscript and superscript, but we can do something to separate the charges from the rest of the formula. See how there's a charge right there, right? And here's the rest of the formula. So we're just gonna type in SO4, then we're gonna use the caret symbol to represent that the charge is flying above the rest of the formula with a two minus. So that's how you type in your answer, okay? And for this one, you would have NH4, okay? And the caret symbol plus. And over here we have O, just O, right? And caret symbol, two minus. And then for oxygen, let me circle the answer for you, or box the answer for you. Then we have calcium, of course, gonna be CA, and then use a carrot to separate the charges from the formula, the two plus. That's how you type your answer on our website.